Hello everyone. In a previous video, I explained uh, the key bindings that I use for my Logitech uh, FX52 Pro and some keyboard um, commands too. And I explained uh, the trim release, uh, which button I assigned to it and how to use it. So I will go very briefly over the trim release button for the purpose of, of this video. Uh, the problem is when um, here in the center, top center, you will see override. Okay. Now, usually it will appear only in two cases, and both cases need you as the pilot doing something. The first and the proper way is, uh, let me switch to this view here. Okay, when you press the trim release, okay, it's written override immediately. There, override, and here you can see it's written trim released both for the roll yo here roll yo mode and pitch mode what it means is that when you press the trim release button you can manually control the helicopter even if autopilot is activated as long as you press and hold trim release you uh, can can uh, control uh, the helicopter manually and then when you release trim release like here okay this message disappears override that's one situation when the uh, override message will appear. And that's, like I said, the proper way. Now, for example, here, I'm moving, as you can see, on the cyclic. Look at what happens. It's written override on the screen again. Okay, here. Here, I'm moving it up. And as you can see here, it's written hands on. And if I move it to the right or left, for the roll, your axis is written hands on and override here. Okay, now if I move it up right, for example, it's registering movement both for pitch and roll. And that's also when you will have the override message appear. But that's not the proper way. Okay, the proper way, like I said, is to press the trim release. But if you are trying to move, as you can see here, the cyclic without pressing the trim release you will still get the override message but what if like i said the only way for override to appear is you have to do something either you have pressed trim released like here or you are moving the cyclic without pressing trim release but what if you're not touching the cyclic you're not touching the trim release button but you still have the override message here Okay, here uh, my uh, joystick is properly calibrated. Everything is working fine. This is why I have to kind of move the cyclic for it to appear. But in case you are having the override message permanently displayed, what you can do is just shake your joystick a little bit. Just shake uh, a message just uh, arrived. Okay, just shake your joystick a little bit and see if it uh, clears the override message here. If not, second thing you can do is quickly go here and as you can see, hands on detection, as you can see here it's on 1. I would recommend putting it to 5 maybe. There you go and here you select dead zone which means that even if you have that little uh, kind of um, dead zone issue when you're not moving your joystick but uh, games are still detecting movement this can uh, solve the issue okay and uh, if you still get the um, override uh, message constantly then I would suggest uh, calibrating your joystick again and uh, most probably when you go into the calibration software you will see that typical square with a ball in the center and uh, you're not touching your joystick but you will see that the ball is off center so you recalibrate your joystick and when you get back into the game hopefully the override message should have disappeared and once again uh, just to clarify there is only two situations where when this message should appear first is when you press stream released even if you're not moving uh, the stick the message will appear like here override trim release that's one situation second situation is you're not pressing trim release but you're moving 
this cyclic, the override message will appear. But once again, remember the proper way if you want to manually control the helicopter is to press trim release. I hope that this video will solve the override message constantly appearing on the screen. Uh, if you like the video, please um, give it a thumb up and uh, subscribe to the channel because the uh, more interesting thing about the H145 uh, and one H160 uh, is coming on this channel. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.